In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform an antibody screen using the tube method. And for this, you're going to go ahead and need uh, your screen cells, one, two, and three. Um, you're also going to need a patient specimen, um, some plasma, and I'm going to be using physiological saline for my specimen. You're also going to need some tubes, a timer set for 15 minutes, some enhanced lists or peg, whichever you choose. I'm going to be using um, list for this video. You're also going to need some AHG, some check cells, an agglutination viewer. Um, you're also going to need a centrifuge, and you're also going to need an incubator. Now, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and label your um, your tubes, and then you need to get out your um, screen cells. Make sure you mix them before you add them to the tubes, and you're just going to do one drop per each of these screen cells and their corresponding tubes. So just one drop of one, make sure you mix it, and then one drop of two as well. And then um, after you mix it, you can make sure that it's completely mixed by just checking the bottom of the um, the vials, and then um, one drop of three. After you have the screen cells in their corresponding tubes, you need to go ahead and add two drops of patient plasma to each of the specimens, or the tubes, rather. And then go ahead and give them a quick mix. And we're going to do our immediate spin, so go ahead and pop them into the centrifuge, pull them out, and go ahead and read them under your agglutination viewer. Hope you can see I'm trying to resuspend the cell button. And it's looking pretty negative. So the next step would be to go ahead and grab your enhance. And like I said, for this I'm going to be using LIS, which is low ionic strength solution. And you want to add two drops of this to each one of your tubes. And this will increase your incubation time. Um, or reduce the time of your incubation to 15 minutes. Normally if you don't use any enhance um, you're gonna have to incubate for 30 minutes but since I use some low ionic strength solution I can only do or I can do 15 which is what I'm going to do. So after the incubation time has expired uh, which was 15 minutes you need to go ahead and centrifuge your specimens and then you can read them at 37 degrees Celsius which is what I'm doing now so just resuspend your cell buttons and then once you've done that um, the next stage would be to go ahead and cell wash them which I've already done and then after they've been washed you want to add two drops of AHG to each one of the tubes And then from here, you're just going to give them a quick mix, pop them in the centrifuge, and then grab your agglutination viewer so that you can read the tubes. So resuspend your cell buttons. Since I'm using physiological saline as my patient plasma, I of course am getting a zero agglutination. And then after you've resuspended your cell buttons, the last step is going to be grabbing your um, check cell. Now you only do this if the tube was negative at AHG, but you're going to go ahead and mix it and then add one drop to every one of the negatives, which in my case is all three. Give it a quick mix, pop it in the centrifuge, and then go ahead and read your agglutination. And um, this is the only time through this antibody screen that I'm actually getting an agglutination. You can see it there somewhat in the viewer. And that's all there is to it. Um, thank you for watching.